I was born um, into a family where my dad worked a lot and my mom was an alcoholic. And um, so how that impacted me was uh, as a kid, my mom was there, but not really there. And then my dad was never there. And I went on in life and I became more and more angry and I was acting out in school and I would get into fights and I would do some stuff that was really not funny, right? And I would get beaten up as a younger kid. And that grew um, a lot of anger inside of me. And that anger then lashed out at other kids. And eventually, it kind of reached a peak in my life when I was a sophomore. I was in a class with a, a bunch of seniors and other seniors were picking on one senior and they were saying it was me that was doing it and I wasn't doing anything but minding my own business. And he came up to me after class and says, I'm gonna see you on the bridge. And something happened that day. Um, all I can say is some, it just turned green and I was not in control of my body. And I was so enraged that I didn't stop hitting him. And I kept hitting him and kept hitting him. And he fell into the ground and it should have been over. And I kicked him in the face until he got up. And I kept hitting him and hitting him. And the crowd was counting. That's what they would do is count how many hits. And it got up to 38 before a, a senior on the football team bear hugged me from behind and stopped the fight. Thankfully, that was the last punch that I had ever thrown. Um, shortly after that, um, God was drawing me towards himself. And a couple, a couple friends of mine were going to um, Sunday school one day and they were, they were talking about it and they're like, yeah, you know, they're asking each other if they're going to Sunday school. And, and I said, you know, what, what are you going to Sunday school? Like, I grew up going to church and my, my dad parked in the same parking spot. He sat at the same pew and it was the most boring place I had ever been to and it smelled. And that's all I can kind of remember about church. Um, I said, why would you want to go there? And they're like, no, 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 this is different. And so then I said, can I come with you guys? And that's when I received something that I'd never received before, like full love, full acceptance. I walked into those doors and there were 150 high school kids that just welcomed me, didn't know me, didn't care about my past, just loved on me. And that really was attractive for me because I had never received that before. And so I kept coming back and kept coming back. And eventually friends of mine said, you know, are you a Christian? And I was like, I think so. And they said, well, do you have Jesus in your heart? And I was like, what are you talking about? Jesus in your heart? And they're like, oh, you need to talk to the pastor. I prayed to receive the Lord that day. And for the first time in my life, I experienced joy, like an abundance of joy. And so from there forward, I thought everything was going to be hunky-dory, right? It's supposed to be perfect. You have Christ, what else is there? I felt like I was on this roller coaster of being close to God and being far from God. And it was really confusing. Eventually, I got into some wrong crowds and I was smoking a lot of weed um, and partying a lot and, you know, promiscuous in relationships and just trying to find something that I already had but didn't quite understand. And then I got into the deeper stuff um, using acid and, you know, mushrooms and all these other types of stuff, just trying to really find something. Um, chasing a feeling, right? I was chasing a feeling and I was coming up empty every single time. And so after a whole summer of doing that, I came back to PBA, and the very first night, they had um, Welcome Back Worship on the Green, and a student-led worship team, and they were playing Creating Me a Clean Heart, and God broke me like I have never been broken before, and I'm a sobbing mess, and I'm by myself, and I'm just, I know that God wants to create in me this clean heart, and I'm just done. I'm at the end of myself trying to do it myself. I eventually graduated from PBA with a marketing degree with a job offer to step into the, the uh, business world. But my last summer before graduation, I wanted to serve um, in church some way. I entered into uh, the idea of doing um, some, uh, some student ministry and serving for that last summer. And um, it just wrecked me because I saw God do some amazing things. I'm up in Boston. God eventually from bringing me from Connecticut to Florida to Birmingham, Alabama to eventually Boston. I start my MDiv program and um, I'm a youth pastor in Boston. There's this woman that I meet and I, I end up getting married to her. And the elders sat with us because she was previously married and she went through a divorce. And so three months into marriage, we're starting our first uh, marriage 
uh, counseling. And after 17 counselors, it was the same thing. I would start, I would share, I'd be open myself up to whatever changes that God wanted to do in me. And then once we started to pivot towards her, all of a sudden we were fine. We didn't need to go back anymore. And um, three months later, we find ourselves in a brand new counselor. So eventually she left that marriage and decided to, to just leave. She wasn't willing. As I started to gain health um, and healing through inner healing process, um, she decided to leave the marriage because I started to become a leader and she, that was an affront to her. And so she eventually left and um, it was one of the darkest times of my life. And so then the Lord brought me through that whole dark valley and came out like a totally different person, like a radically different person that um, has a deeper understanding and can go deeper with the Lord now after kind of dealing with the healing of the, the wounds that I was carrying. And so that allowed me to eventually get to the point where a good friend of mine um, down in Florida um, had this friend and they're like, oh, you gotta meet this girl, you gotta meet this girl. And I was like, from Florida? Like, I'm up in Boston. There's no way that this is going to work. And like, ah, oh, just, just meet her. And so I met this girl, and uh, she's amazing. Like, she's, um, she's got a solid walk with the Lord, right? And she's beautiful, and she's fun. And it's like, I wish she were in Boston, you know? Uh, she's got kids, and so it's like, there's just no way. And so both of us thought, like, yeah, you know, great, but there's just no way. Slowly, we started to get to know each other deeper and, and spent more time together and eventually got down to the point where we were like, we definitely knew that, that this is what God had for us. You know, to be able to see what um, a godly marriage and to be a part of a godly marriage um, and serve together and love together and to see the impact that it's making on our kids and the wounds that they have been a part of, to see healing happening within their hearts and in their minds and in their souls, it's just been amazing. So I'm just so thankful that the Lord has brought me through what he's brought me through. I thank God for my whole journey not just the good stuff. It's, it's the story that God's brought me through that he's using to help other people. And, and so I thank God for the whole story of who he's made me to be.